Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This one's going to be a little different than my normal videos. I will still include a speed paint later on, but I'm going to be talking about this tablet that I have, which is the Parblo Coast 13. Um, in the box, you'll get the glove, obviously the tablet as well. Um, it comes with a nice little cloth that you can wipe the screen with if it gets dirty. Um, also comes with the um, driver manual. And um, if you don't have a CD port, you can always download the drivers, which I'll show you later. Um, obviously it comes with a pen and a nice little pen case with extra nibs and a nib remover. If you guys need me to make a video about how to remove the nibs, I can do that as well. But um, if you don't have the CD port, you know, just go onto Parblo's website, um, scroll down to the Coast 13 if that's what you have, go to learn more and just go to the drivers, and then you can download whichever version that you have, Mac or Windows, and download the latest version. But um, once you get it all downloaded, it'll have this little box and you just follow the prompts, hit yes and you know next, finish, all that good stuff. Um, and then when you plug in the tablet, you have to restart your computer or else it'll just say no signal on the screen. So basically just obviously like restart your computer, begin again, and then once you do that, you can start drawing on it, honestly. Um, I didn't even really need to calibrate my pen, it just kind of automatically came ready to go. But if you do want to calibrate it, I can show you guys how to do that. And you have to go to your tablet settings in your little search bar. Go to tablet and it'll have like the tablet preferences and all that stuff. And I'm showing you guys how you can change the sensitivity of the pressure. I like mine really soft pressure sensitivity. So I can get the really light strokes um, when I'm drawing and not like pressing down hard. So I was just showing you guys how you can do that. And then you go over there, you can calibrate the pen, hit the one points and the little targets and you're good to go. And then you can customize your hotkeys. It has eight hotkeys on the side and a little rocker ring in the middle, which is awesome. Um, I like mine on zoom in, zoom out, undo, you know, control with all the colors. And um, it's really nice having all the buttons. And I'll go more into detail about that later. But um, once you open up your program that you draw in, the sensitivity may not be exactly what you want it to be, so you can just go into your settings on your um, program and just go to File, Pen Pressure Settings, and change it like you did in the um, initial setup of the tablet. Just change it to however you like, which I'll show you guys in this video. Um, and after that, you can basically get started drawing. I'm just showing you how the strokes look um, and just testing out all my brushes to see that everything looks the way I want it to, which it does, and then you can just get started with whatever you want to do. And the great thing about this tablet is that it's basically just like my Wacom Cintiq 13 HD, which um, is like twice the cost of this nice little thing. And the Cintiq, while it is a really nice name brand, it's, you know, it's very, very pricey. And it's kind of heavy in my opinion, because I like drawing on my lap and taking my um, tablet with me if I go up or down stairs, depending on my mood. And it's kind of bulky and the Parblo Coast 13 is very light but not like super light to where it would be like lost in a gust of wind or anything and it's really sturdy too and again I like all the buttons that it has on it eight buttons that you can customize to whichever function you want super helpful and I love the little dial ring in the middle so you can zoom in and out or change your brush sizes it's pretty great and right now I'm gonna get started drawing and you'll see basically everything that you can do. It's just like any other tablet that you use to draw on. And another great thing about the Parblo is that it doesn't have to, like the tablet itself does not have to be plugged into a wall, which I think is fantastic. Um, because the Cintiq, you do have to have a power brick plugged into the wall as well as, you know, a laptop or a desktop. And it can really restrict you if you want to do something like around, like, you know, away from a wall. So. That's the nice thing about the Parblo is that you can just plug it into your laptop or your computer with just the HDMI port and the USB port and you're like golden. So that's another great thing about it. And especially at the price that it is, which is like roughly $400 compared to the Cintiq that's over $800 I think on Amazon when I bought it, is kind of amazing. Especially at the level of their professional standards I think that they have. And I think that these other companies better watch out for Parblo because they are, you know, one of the the few companies that's still very affordable even at the level of tablets that they have which I think is great and the story behind how I actually got this tablet is um, when I was like looking for another tablet I was trying to find something that was a little bit more um, portable than my Cintiq because I wanted to draw 
around uh, my family. I have a very large family, and they always make fun of me when I hide in my room and draw. But um, I was looking for other tablets, and I saw this company. I was like, oh, they're cool. You know, they're new. They're still, you know, up in the runnings with all these other companies. So I saw that they were having lots of giveaways and contests and stuff, and I was like, oh my god, that'd be so cool if I actually won something. So. I um, did the Earth Day contest, I think, back in, I'm not sure what month it was, March? April? I don't know. But uh, I did a contest for that, and I won, and I was like, oh my god, I've actually won something, and it's this awesome tablet. I've never won anything in my life before, so this is awesome. And so I was ecstatic, and um, it came, I think I've been drawing on it for over a month now, a month and like four days, and it's just an absolute delight. And the customer service is amazing too. Like, um, they follow me on Instagram, which is kind of cute, and uh, Twitter and stuff. And every time I post a photo of what I've drawn on their tablet, they'll um, share a select few photos and like other people's photos as well, like on Facebook and stuff too. And like, oh, this person drew this image on our tablet, so and so. And it just makes me feel like super happy whenever they do that. I'm like, oh my god, they noticed me, you know? And it's just super great. Uh, once again, their customer service is really nice. Like, you can just go on their Instagram, their Tumblr, or um, Twitter, and Facebook and stuff, and just ask them questions about their tablets. And, and they're more than happy to answer any questions or concerns that you have about their tablets. And yeah, I just really recommend this brand. And they also have graphic tablets that don't have monitor displays as well. But I am a monitor gal. And I like looking at what I'm drawing on the screen. They have bigger versions as well. I was actually looking at some of their um, their smaller versions when uh, back a few months ago before I even got this tablet. They have the 10 inch display and then the 13 inch and I think a 22. And I'm actually really excited to see what else this company is going to provide for their customers in the, the future. Because if they're starting out this good, then they're going to be, you know, even better in the future. And it's kind of exciting to think about what they're going to produce. And, you know, in this day and age with everything that's going to be um, super updated and, you know, all the time, it's kind of enthralling to see where everyone's going to go with all this good stuff. And anyway, if you guys have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. I'm not super technical savvy, but I will do my best to provide any information that I have about these tablets. But if you guys are in the market for tablets, I definitely recommend this company. Um, these guys are going places and I want to go right there with them. And yeah, if you guys enjoy this video, you can give me a thumbs up or subscribe for more. I'll definitely do some more speed paints in the future on this tablet so you can see all the features that it has. And um, maybe I'll make some more videos about it if you guys have questions. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in my future videos. Until then, I hope you'll have a great day. Bye!